Hello, so welcome to this new little vlog to share with you what I have been working on these past days. So I had started the goat and the wolf and the seven little goats actually. And here it is the mother goat and some of her children. I continue to work on it, painting the papers, uh, also doing the costume for the little children and also starting a little wolf. So this is going to arrive in my shop next week. And this mulberry paper, I think I have about 60, so a bit more than 60 big sheets. It might last for me for about two or three months. Not really more than that, knowing that I'm going to work on dollhouses and things like that. So I'm going to swallow a lot of it, but it depends. If I work on small pieces, it can last for three months. If, it's, uh, if I'm more going to work on bigger pieces, it's going to be swallowed much faster. I also wanted to share something about the mulberry paper. So this week I also restocked a bit my supplies, the paper, painting, all that. So I buy my, my supplies in many places. I don't buy everything in one place, just for many reasons. I like to buy my mulberry paper online because this is the only place I can find the best deal and the best paper. So there, there may be some differences in the quality of mulberry paper even with the same description, the same weight, everything is absolutely the same and you have some uh, differences. So I reply here to a question asked by Debbie from my last video, which was about my lampshades. I will just link it below in case you want to see it. And she is an apprentice magician and she also watched my videos and wondered if there was a difference because she ordered her mulberry paper and she realized it, was, it seemed to be a little different than mine. There may be some differences. I didn't notice that before, but for two years, for a couple of years, I really struggled to find the good mulberry paper because the paper industry is changing all the time. Some brands are stopping doing something, others are starting to do them. So it's really hard. And the paper, the brand I used to buy my paper from stopped doing it. Then they came back to it. It was really a mess. It was really hard to find where I could buy my good mulberry paper with the quality I like. So now I can find it in the German store Gerstecker, which is Le Géant des Beaux-Arts in France, which is great art.co.uk in England. It's the same shop but with a different name uh, depending on the countries. And in the Netherlands you have it too, so you just have to see. And they have the same supplies for um, every country. It's just the same supplies. So. so in this website I can find it. There are two brands which do it actually. And another important thing to say, it's not the most expensive paper you can find, which will necessarily be uh, the best paper. On this website, on Le Jean de Bazaar or Gersteca, it's the other way around actually. And they, there is even no difference between the two papers they sell. It's absolutely the same, but the price is almost twice less expensive. So it's interesting to see. And here in local store, I could find here in Lyon, not even in Saint-Etienne, but in Lyon, it would be three times more expensive and it would be the, 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 the worst paper. It's not a good one. Now, another important thing to say, if you don't have the good paper, you notice there are some differences, you can still achieve absolutely the same thing than we do in the workshop. If you are enrolled in the workshop, just know that there is no problem at all because I worked with this bad paper for two years and I did 
All the things you saw me doing, I did them with this bad paper. You can find the same description, same measurement, same weight, but the quality will be different. You will have less fibers actually in the paper, really less. It will have a tendency to break instead of being gently, when you gently tear it apart, it's going to really break. You will, the noise is different. It's very, it's very obvious. You will notice a difference. It's slightly thinner, though the weight is the same. And really, you, you don't totally manipulate it the same way you still have fibers in it, so no worries. If you can't find a good one, because it's impossible for me to tell you where you will be able to find a good one, because I count all the paper from all the stores uh, from every country in the world, uh, you, have to, you have to look for yourself where is the good one. Some brands uh, will carry the good ones, some will have the bad ones, so it's, it's important just to check. Uh, maybe order one or two pages from different places if you can, or just do it what you have the moment and maybe next time you have to reorder some mulberry paper. This time you will change and you will try to find it from another store, another online store, a local store around you. That's all I could say. I much prefer the good one because there are more fibers, it's easier to manipulate, it's easier to work with it, you waste less paper too. But otherwise, there is not a crazy, crazy big difference. If you can't find a good one, you can still do all the same thing we are doing in the workshops. You can still do them with the bad ones. So. So as it is the beginning of the year, I went to the craft store, the only one we have here in the city in Saint-Étienne. I just bought a bit of painting, um, some black, some red, pink. I quite like this packaging thing. For me, uh, my paint is less dry this way. I use it to the, to the end, till the very end. It doesn't dry at all. So for me, it's pretty pretty easier. I don't like so much the bottles because I there's always a moment when the paint in the painting doesn't want to go out from the bottles. So I just prefer this way to to pack the painting. I hope that we do the same thing they do for organic stores where you could refill your bottles you already had. So those were already almost finished, not totally, so I had to buy others. Also bought this. I never use, I never try to work with that, so I'm going to see if it's interesting for me. If I find uh, other effects I can't have with my brushes, I'm not really sure, but I just thought, oh, maybe I'm just going to try to see. I have also my pencils. I love very, very soft pencils to draw, to, to do my sketches. I draw a lot, actually. I don't show a lot of my drawings and sketches, but that's always the thing I do before creating my artwork. Most of them, at least, especially if they are a bit inspired by fairy tale stories. And as I'm working on an exhibition these days, I just need it to, to draw a bit more. So. I like to have a lot of uh, soft pencils ready to be used and I like to use the 4B ones because they are very soft.
Another thing I wanted to tell you is if you are an apprentice magician, be careful next week, check your newsletter. I have two newsletters actually, a um, main newsletter uh, sharing all the things I'm doing and it's sent once a month or twice a month, it depends. And another one which is only focused on, on techniques, on papers and private things, private events, things like that. And it's more about, well, technique of course, and workshops. And if you are an apprentice magician and you should receive it next week, I will just link it below in case you want also to receive it. So I will share in this newsletter, in this workshop newsletter next week, a very, very special thing. It's a private thing, private event um, I'm going to do for you next summer. So I'm not going to tell all the details here because it's absolutely private and it is open for you if you are an enrolled apprentice magician. So just wanted to say I will share all the details, all the information you need in this newsletter. I don't share everything on my blog and I don't share everything on my channel, on my YouTube channel. So there are a few things which are private. So you need to be um, subscribed to my newsletters to receive them. And the information, the details about this really, really nice private event are going to be shared next week in the next newsletter. And I will just link it below this video if you want to know more about it. So thank you for watching this little video, it was just a little quick update to share with you what I've been working on. I will come back very soon with a lot of things about fairy tales and my little exhibition uh, which I'm working on right now. I've also started to work on it, you will see more about it on the next vlogs. I also started to paint my furniture, my desk, my table, my shelves, you are going to see that. I'm so excited, the color is so pretty, it's a beautiful green and it is going to be for my studio, so you're going to see that in my studio series. But I'm so excited, so happy that I will have soon all my furniture ready. I thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletters too if you like private little things that you can't find anywhere else, so it's going to be shared in these newsletters. And for now I will leave you here and wish you a beautiful Sunday and I will see you soon. Bye!